Hello boys, welcome back to another interesting session of video tutorials and this session is meant for class 12th biology students and this is for 11th September 2020. Our memory helps us in tracing out what we have been discussing in this chapter that is biotechnology, its applications and we have been studying about the various applications in making GMOs, genetically modified organisms. In that, in our previous session, we were talking about the transgenic plants and we were also at length discussing about the silencing of mRNA and also we discussed advantages and disadvantages of transgenic plants. In this session, we are going to talk about the biotechnological applications in medicine so biotechnology in medicines this is what we are going to talk about and all of you know medical field is very very important and one of the challenges for us is the expenditure the medicines have become so costly that it is very very difficult for poor man he cannot afford to purchase and there are lot many side effects when we are using this allopathic medicines. So in such a juncture, critical juncture, if our biology can help us to make it cost effective and without any side effects, what else we expect from biology? So people will be remembering the importance and significance of our subject, biology and its baby biotechnology. With that in mind, we will be discussing today the various applications in medicine. So biotechnology in medicines, diagnose, treat, see, both are there, diagnosis and treatment. Different diseases with effective combination or recombinant therapeutic drugs. This is recombination and it protects from dangerous diseases and we are happy to learn as you progress even some genetic diseases which have no medicine as on today can be cured with the help of biotechnology and that is because of a therapy called gene therapy through gene therapy new and healthy genes can be inserted to replace damaged cells and the targeted action of drug by study of genomics so we will be studying uh, what exactly is the problem in uh, human physiology and biochemistry part of it. Recombinant therapeutics do not induce unwanted immunological responses as in case of similar products isolated from non-human sources. So whenever we try to replace something that is not there in our body with by isolating from some other animal there will be always side effects that will not be there in this and 30 recombinant therapeutics approved for human use already see that is the good news 30 recombinant therapeutics are approved for human use and 12 of them are marketed in India already so that's a very good news and we hope sincerely that this number keep on increasing so the biotechnological processes have made great impact in the area of healthcare by mass production of safe, safe and more effective therapeutic drugs. This is known as medical biotechnology or it is also called sometimes red biotechnology. In 1921, three scientists, Banting, Best, and McLeod, as, as his name is, really has done the best thing. What is that he has done? Look at this. Genetically engineered insulin. This is what the great effort of these three scientists. So that has happened in 1921. Banting, Best and McLeod succeeded in preparing a pure extract of insulin from the pancreatic isolates of a dog. And they demonstrated that administration of insulin could cure diabetes in human beings. Later, insulin for curing diabetes used to be extracted from 
pancreas of slaughtered pigs and cattle insulin is made up of 51 amino acids arranged in two polypeptide chains let me show you that so there will be two chains like this look at that there is a chain a and chain b so you got a chain a and chain b two are there and these two chains chain a and chain b they are made up of 51 amino acids and these two are polypeptide chains a chain chain a will be having uh, chain a will be having 21 amino acids and chain b will be having 30 amino acids i will write a a a for amino acids and these two are linked together by disulfide bond you can see sulfur sulfur bonding disulfide bond and in mammals including humans insulin is synthesized as a pro hormone you see pro insulin which contains an extra stretch called c peptide this is the extra one free uh, c peptide bond and this c peptide is not present in the mature insulin and is removed during maturation into insulin now this is pro insulin when pro insulin becomes insulin only these two will be there and the c chain c peptide chain will should be released free the main challenge for production of insulin using r dna techniques was getting insulin assembled into a mature form so the challenge is from making pro insulin to insulin so there are two challenges one is making the a chain and b chain uh, preparing separately and then joining them through disulfide bond then second freeing of this c peptide chain chain c that is the challenge so uh, luckily in 1983 there is a company american company called eli lilly prepared two dna sequences corresponding to a and b chains of human insulin and introduced them in plasmids of e coli to produce insulin chains chains a and b were produced separately then they are extracted and are combined by creating disulfide bonds to form human insulin and appropriately we call this as humulin look at this this is what exactly this uh eli lilly in 1983 has done this is synthetic dna encoding the beta chain or b chain gene b and you can see the plasmid having incorporated into it and then this is inserted into separate plasmid expression vectors and then it is transformed into e coli with vectors and cloning separately you can see the cloning of this and this resulted in uh, add inducer to initiate protein synthesis and then b polypeptide chain is synthesized you can see this green one okay and then synthetic dna encoding a chain is synthesized and that is attached of course you have to remember all the enzymes that are involved molecular scissors ligase okay uh, polymerase all this you have to remember and then pcr polymerase chain reaction all these are common for every uh, plasmid that we prepare and then it is inserted to suitable host and we have to make the host e coli suitable for that and then because of that the recombinant plasmid r dna a chain polypeptide is synthesized and sulfur sulfur bonding also is there you can see and the greatness of the eli lilly company is that it not only synthesized b chain separately and a chain separately it also was successful in making these two join together to through disulfide bond thus it is very very successful in making directly insulin and this insulin was tested and it is very good and that's why since it is helping the human beings not to be diabetic 
it is called humilin appropriately so humilin h u m u l i n humilin so this is how the humilin this is one of the greatest contributions of biotechnology in human insulin or humilin and we'll be talking about some of the diseases that can be cured through gene therapy in our next class so what you have to do today is draw all these diagrams and particularly understand this amino acids uh, a chain and b chain and go through these these as we said like first created in 1983 just now i said eli lilly an american company insulin hormone to regulate blood sugar levels and it is administered in patients with diabetes and mature insulin two short polypeptide chains chain a having a 21 amino acids i said already chain b having 30 amino acids totally 51 amino acids of course you must remember for your neat exam totally how many amino acids it is 30 plus 21 51 amino acids will be there and these two chains are interlinked with disulfide bridges so insulin synthesized as pro hormone in all the mammals a peptide b peptide and this additional c peptide will be there and this will become re- released made it free absent in mature insulin as it get removed during maturation using our dna technology two dna sequences corresponding chain a and b of human insulin introduced into plasmids of e coli that's what i showed you and happily produced insulin chains separately and then chains a and b not only extracted they are combined by disulfide bond and thus there is origin of human insulin or as i said just now humilin so this is the greatest achievement by the biotechnology and we will be studying there is something called gene therapy i said just now many genetic diseases also can be cured the diseases which once thought that human beings have no other choice but to suffer throughout life has got a solution no more suffering thanks to biotechnology in our next section we will be discussing about uh, something called s c i d what is that we will learn and then a d a deficiency